They've been captured by the Slaughter family. Tied up, tortured, and left for dead. You must do whatever it takes to escape the family's property at all costs. Find your friends. Hunt for life-saving items like tools, bone scrap, and health. But more importantly, locate and open up escape routes before it's too late. The family is hunting, so move quietly and make the right decisions. Your life depends on it. Stay quiet and hidden. Move slowly and carefully to avoid making excessive noise. Use shadows and tall foliage to stay hidden. Take cover behind tall objects to break line of sight. And last but not least, use the environment to your advantage. Wall gaps, crawl spaces, and unique hiding spots like freezers, armoires, and even vehicle trunks can be used to evade the family. Use them. Watch out for objects that make noise. Moving too fast through the environment can spell disaster. Searching for items slowly will drastically increase your chance of survival. Even moving too fast through doors can give away your location. So stay calm and move quietly. The family is always listening. Find useful items. Tools can be used to break locks on doors. Health items can heal you, while bone scrap can be used to sneak attack or even confront the family directly. These items can mean the difference between life and death. You can only carry two items at a time, so choose wisely and try to plan ahead. Unlock exits. The heavy metal doors almost always lead out of the basement. Find and open them. Once upstairs, keep moving if possible. There are multiple escape routes located on the outer edges of the property, so find a way to open them. Some escape objectives like the fuse box and water valve pump require specific items to activate them. These items can be found scattered around the property. Be on the lookout. Escape the family. Having trouble finding an escape option? When in doubt, head towards the main road or rear gate. Those are usually the easiest option, if you can get there. The water valve gate and the basement door exits are also available options if you can find the necessary parts to activate them. The basement door requires you to find and repair the fuse box, while the water valve gate needs the pressure valve handle to open. Once fixed, the escapes will open up for you and your team. Use your abilities to stay alive. Used at the right time, they can mean the difference between life and death. Be careful, though. Star sign abilities have a cooldown that will prevent overuse, so plan wisely. Remember, you have been captured, beaten, and tortured, so your injuries are severe. You need to escape before you succumb to your wounds. As the match continues, you will start to bleed out more and more. Be wary of leaving blood trails behind. You can be tracked. Health items can slow this process, but you can't stop it. Escape is the only option. Finding fellow victims and working together is recommended, but not required. Grouping with teammates can have a multitude of advantages, but your total noise output might also increase. Choose your strategy wisely. The only question is, who will survive? And what will be left of them? <laughs>